This is going to be a quick video for JetFly15. He'd like to know how to navigate the dock and how to navigate the top menu bar. In the last video, JetFly introduced you to the voiceover command key and that command keys, and those are, um, again, they are control and option. You hold those down. We're going to get to the menu bar first. You hold the uh, voiceover keys down and you push the letter M. Oh, I'm sorry. What am I? <laughs> I forgot to start voiceover. <laughs> oh, live and learn. To start voiceover, command F5. Voiceover on. Screen flow. Oh, now let's try this again. Because this time something will definitely happen. Again, voiceover keys, control option, and then letter M for menu. Menu bar, Apple. In case you didn't hear me because of the chime, it's control option M to get into the menu bar. Then you just navigate left and right and up and down. Screen flow, file, edit, actions, actions, me add, go to previous action, dimmed, edit, menu, undo, dim command. So I'm in the edit menu, I move left from the actions to get to it, and now I'm in the edit menu and I move down and up to get through the items in the menu. Redo, cut, redo, undo, dim, special characters, ellipsis, command option, okay. T. And that's basically to get to the menu bar. To get out of the menu bar, it's escape. And now we're out of it. Um, let me just make sure, yeah, yeah, we're out of it. Um... Now to get into the dock, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push Control F3. Finder running. Finder running. Finder is the default item in the dock because that is where you start. Uh, this is on the very far left. And you, you, you can use left and right to navigate around because the dock wraps around. But since it starts at the finder, we'll move to the right. Dashboard. Firefox add um, running. Firefox running. So if there's an application open, it'll say running. And what that means is, um, you know, I have Firefox and ADM at this point uh, active. Add um, running. iChat. Yahoo. Messenger. Skype. Address book. Skype. Now Skype, uh, you have to get that separate for the Mac. It's not built into ADM. Address book. iCal. iCal was a calendar app. Preview. Pictures and PDFs. iTunes. iPhoto. Organize pictures. iMovie. Make movies. iMovie HD. Make movies, and it's the same as um, the previous versions of iMovie. I use this one because it allows me to edit. iMovie 08 does not allow me to edit. iDVD. Create DVDs. GarageBand. Make music. And GarageBand, um, I don't know how accessible... In fact, to be honest, I don't know what the level of accessibility is on any of these. Um, I know iTunes and I think iMovie HD are pretty accessible, but I, I really don't know at this point. I'm just telling you what each of these does. But again, to get in and out of the dock, um, it's Control F3, and then you navigate left and right. Let's continue. iBraille. iBraille is uh, kind of like the Duxbury Braille Translator where you can compose and practice your brailing skills. Um, there used to be a Duxbury under OS 9, but ever since Apple got rid of the classic operating system that has not been able to run. So iBraille is the best you can do. It's a free download, by the way. Louis. Another Braille translator, um, also free. I was thinking this is what iBraille is, um, but it's not. It's a little bit different. Mac Tracker. Mac Tracker is just a little handy app I like to have. It keeps me up to date on all the Mac models, everything Apple's ever built. Easy Draw. Replacement for Apple Works Drawing. Um, I just like to put pictures together in collages. Quinn. Tetris. Nestopia. Playing NES games on the Mac, which I don't need because I found I can play Mario 3 online. VLC. VLC is a media player. If the DVD player doesn't work or if QuickTime cannot recognize your codec, VLC probably will do it. MPEG Stream Clip. Basically, allow you to convert videos into different formats. Screen flow running. Screen flow running. And, um,. This is basically to record the video that you're seeing right now. Photo booth. 
photo booth. Um, you can take pictures with the Max built-in eyesight. The only computer that does not have a built-in eyesight is the Mac Pro, and that starts about three thousand dollars. So I don't see anybody really getting that unless you're in the graphic design profession. Neo Office. Neo Office is a Macintosh-centric version of OpenOffice.org for the Mac. VirtualBox. VirtualBox allows me to run Linux. Um completely free and you can also um, run other Windows distributions if you like. BitTorrent. I have a BitTorrent and I only use it for downloading Linux at, uh, Linux distributions. But I don't use it that often to be honest. But I only use it for Linux. I don't use it for anything else. And that's the truth. Caffeine. Mm. This application allows you to keep your Mac from going to sleep. Calculator. Just a general budget store calculator. Terminal. Terminal. Mac OS X is built on Unix. Linux is built on Unix. So as such, they share the same terminal. You can run a lot of this command line apps that you can in Linux on a Mac. Um, well, I noticed I said a lot of them. Not all of them. There are some that won't work. Spaces. Spaces. You can have up to four desktops, and those are called spaces. Time machine. Time Machine, you plug in a hard drive to your Mac, backs everything up completely in the background. You can also do a restore with Time Machine if you ever want to upgrade your hard drive or you have to reinstall the operating system. There you go. System Preferences. System Preferences is like your control panel in Windows. Applications Folder. Applications Stack. These stacks are very handy. The application stack is one of them that comes by default. At least I think it is. Um, this gives you quick access to the applications without having, without having to explore your hard drive. Downloads folder. Again, standard. Documents folder. Standard. These are all just quick access to stuff. Trash. Trash, the very last thing. This will be your recycle bin. Finder running. And again, like I said earlier, it wraps around, and we're back to the finder. And to get out of the dock, it's Control F3. Screen flow. And we're back on the active application, which in this case is screen flow. And we're going to go ahead and turn off voiceover with a command F5. Voiceover off. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Jetfly, I hope this helped. And uh, comments are welcome, and have a nice evening.